Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make these earrings really easy step by step. I'm sure that with my instruction until the end of this tutorial you will be able to make them. So if you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea so to subscribe if you still haven't and hit that bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me with this and I will answer to all of your questions in the comments. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below. And you could also check my new merch store where you could find uh, t-shirts, tanks, hoodies, mugs, pillows, phone covers and so many other stuff. And by buying stuff from there, you support me, my channel and my mission. And you could find links here at the eye icon and down there in description. And the designs are made especially from me for you. And they are a great idea for present for your bidding friends or for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, and for this tutorial what you're going to need are 6 oh beads in white color and I'm using 8 oh beads in red color and 11 oh seed beads and here I'm using Nemo beading thread that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeter. This is size O and I'm using size 10 beading needle ear wires, scissors and I have about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'm going to start. And I will start by taking four of these beautiful 8 o beads, uh, sorry 6 o beads and I'm going to slide them down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here I will make a knot by going once and then going second time through the loop I've made and I'm pulling okay then what I want to do is go around one more time reinforcing these four beads together Okay, and what I need are red atos. I'm taking one red, going here, and I will repeat this three more times. And I will take one more red bead and as I'm exiting from this 6-0, I will go to the opposite 6-0. And I'm going to pull. And when I pull, I have this. Okay, then I'm going to take five black beads. Okay, and I have my five here. And as I'm exiting from this white bead, I'm going back in circle through the same white. Then I will go through the red and through the following white. And I will take five more seed beads and I will go back through the white one. And I also went through the red and my goal is to exit out of my next white bead and I'm taking five black beads going back through the white going through the six o, and I'm taking five I have my five and I'm going back through this 6 o here. And in my next step, guys, what I want to do is go here through these two beads, through the red and through the white. Then I will go through these two black ones in this direction. 
I will skip this one here at the angle and I will go to the next two bits. And this one I want to move in this direction and pull and you see how I'm forming an angle here. Okay, then I'm going to the following two. Skipping this at the angle and going through the next two. Okay. And I will repeat this two more times. Okay, and my goal is to exit here out of my first black bead. Okay, now what I want to take are two black beads, one red and one white bead. This is what I have. You see, two blacks, one red and one white. Now in my next step I will take three more white beads and I'm going back in circle through this white. Okay. And I'm going to reinforce this here. Okay. Now guys, you see where my thread is. I want to go back through these three black beads, okay, in this direction. Then I want to take two more black beads. And I want to go back in circle through this white one and pull. Now I have this and I will go through the red and through the white. Take one red, go through the white, one more red, go through the white, one more, go here through the white. and exit out of this white bit. Now here I want to add my central bit and I'm taking my bead here and you see my thread is going in this direction and I will go to the opposite bit in the same direction where my thread is pointing to. So when I pull I have this. Okay. And now guys, I'm going to take five seed beads going back through this white one here. Then go through the red and through the following white. And take five. Okay, I have five going back in circle red and white five go back through the white then what I want to do is go one more time here around the edges of my second element okay okay here i'm doing the same thing i'm going through two beads skipping the angle bead and going through the following two Then going through two beads, 
skip here the angle and go through the following okay and this will be my last one here go here skip one and pull okay so if you continue this you could make a bracelet only with this pattern but now I want to show you how to make a diamond shape earring with this pattern here okay now I will go through these two beads and here to these two and I will take one white bead slide it down and go here back in circle through these two okay then guess what I wanna go here inside this white bead and add three more white beads okay I have them going here and one red and I will continue adding my reds and now I will take one red bead and I will go to the opposite 6 so and I'm pulling then I'll go through the red and through this white one and as I'm here I will take two black beads and I will go back through these two skipping the angle one okay then I will go through the red and through the white and also through this red one and out of the white and here I will take two seed beads and I will go back in circle through the first two beads okay then I'm going through this white at the top and here what I need are five beads okay I have my five and I will go through these two beads here skip this one at the angle and go through the following two now you see what I have and I want to connect this element to look better okay sorry I'm going here around my work connecting it
and this one here looks like a heart you could make an earring with this one but now I will show you how to make a diamond shaped earring okay my goal is to exit here Okay, and my goal is to reach here and I will do the same thing like I did before I will take one white bead slide it down and I will go back through the same two beads and again here And I will re just repeat my previous steps. Okay, and now I'm going to take three more white beads and I'm going back in circle here. This is what I have. And I will take one red bead, go through here and repeat this. And you might want to reinforce and now as I'm exiting of this white bead I will take my center and I will go through the opposite bead and in the same direction here okay and I pull now I will go through this red one through the following two black beads and I will take two more blacks and I will go back in circle through this white one here then through the next two blacks through these two and the following red and here at the top through this white then I need five go back okay and here through the white and after that through these two black beads pulling And I will take two more black beads and I'm going back in circle through this white like that and now I want to go one more time around this element reinforcing it and to make it it stay beautifully okay Here skipping the top bit Oops, 
I went too much in this direction. Pull. Okay, I don't want to have any gaps here. That's why I'm pulling. And now what I want to do is reach this bit here and add my ear wire. Okay. And I'm exiting here at the top. And what I want to do is take a seed bit, go through my ear wire slide it down and take one more and pay attention how you attach your ear wire because here is the front part of your earring and this is the back and you want your front part to be the one that is seen okay then what i want to do is reinforce this here And after that, I will make a knot somewhere. Okay, and I'm making a loop. And I'm going once and second time through the loop I've made. And I'm pulling. And then I might want to continue making more and more knots. And when I'm ready, I will cut my thread and my earring will be ready. Okay guys, and now my earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and hit that bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you helped me with this. And I promise I'll answer to all of your questions in the comments. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below. You could also check my new merch store where you could find uh, hoodies, t-shirts, tanks, uh, mugs, pillows, phone covers and so many other stuffs. And the designs are made especially from me for you and they are a great present for your bidding friends or for yourself. And by buying stuff from there, you support me, my channel and my mission. And here you could find a link to my store at the icon and down there in description. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.